Happy Friday, y'all. What's happening, my dudes? Hope you've been out there crushing this week and are heading into a relaxing and or fun weekend. I'm uh, finally back at it with these good news for my dudes episodes, but uh, now it's in this kind of clip form, not a full-on, full-length stream <laughs> with live comments and live chats or whatever. Um, we're going to read some scripture during these, dive into what we read, expand upon it. I'm going to share my thoughts, my opinions on it, and uh, hopefully provide some encouragement and some wisdom along the way, you know. Um, let me know in the comments what you think, what you love, or what you hate about it. I will still love you. <laughs> and no matter what you type into these comments, I, uh, it will not stop me from loving you. So feel free to uh, let me have it, good or bad. This week's scripture is from the book of Matthew. Chapter 13, verses 45, 44 through 45. And it reads, Jesus told his, his disciples that the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in the field, which a man found and hid again. And from joy over it, he goes and sells everything that he has and he buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking fine pearls. And upon finding one pearl of great value, he went and sold everything that he had and bought it. Now, uh, speaking of people who generally had limited resources and few possessions of value, Jesus drove home the immense worth of God's kingdom. Selling all of his possessions, possibly even his home, could leave a man destitute and unable to provide for himself or his family right? That still applies today. But yet the treasure he sacrificed everything to find would prove more valuable many times over. All the treasures that are sacrificed in this life, this temporary existence we have, will eventually prove valuable many times over if that sacrifice is for the kingdom of God. Jesus is asking you and me and all of those who follow him to consider our commitments and priorities today, right now, and forevermore. What is keeping you out there from pursuing God and the priorities of his kingdom? It may be like a jam-packed schedule or work priorities or family obligations or just fun times you're having um, that have consumed far too much of your time in the recent past or in your life in general. Your possessions and your pleasures may be a massive weight tied to you right now that is holding you back from drawing near to God. And it's time to start reconsidering that. It's time to start untying that weight and getting on with running the marathon, right? Towards the eternity that awaits you. The treasure of God's kingdom is worth more than these things that will one day pass away. Your security in his kingdom is the only unshakable thing you can count on. And that's why it's worth giving up everything else to obtain it.